we have this improper integral, the integral from 3 to infinity, 1 over x minus 2 raised to the 3 half power, and then you see this is on the denominator, and we have the dx. First thing, look at this rational expression, and then you see that on the denominator, you cannot let x is equal to 2, otherwise you will get a vertical acetone. But then luckily, we know the limit right here is from 3 to infinity. However, this is still improper because you have this infinity right here. This is the improper integral of type 1. So what we do is, let's just integrate this, and then believe in our integral, and then believe in our limits. Let's get to work. To integrate this, let me just use the u substitution, that u equals to x minus 2, so get du equals to dx, and that's pretty clean. And then we have to take this integral into the u world carefully, because here we have these numbers. This number means we have x is equal to 3 as the starting value. Well, in the u world, we have to make sure you plug in 3 into here. That means if x is equal to 3, u will be 3 minus 2, which is 1. So we'll start off with 1 in the u world. And then on the top right here, we know this is x goes to infinity. Well, if x goes to infinity minus 2, u also goes to infinity. So it's still improper, of course. <laughs> Anyways, this is going to be 1 over u to the 3 half power. But then this is on the denominator. Let me write this as u to the negative 3 half power. And then dx is the same as du, so we have just du. And now this integral is completely in the u world. And this is u to some power. We're going to just use the power rule backwards. Let me first add 1 to the exponent. This is negative 3 half plus 2 over 2. So we get what? We get negative 1 over 2 for the new exponent. And then we have to divide it by this new exponent, which is the same as multiply by negative 2 over 1. So that would be the antiderivative. The antiderivative of this is going to be negative 2, and we have u to the negative 1 half power. And I can just work in the u world. I can just say, let me go from 1 to infinity. And maybe you don't like this, because when you have negative exponents, let's bring it down to the denominator to see what we can do. So for the first part right here, we can look at this as negative 2 on the top, and then u to the negative 1 half, we can look at that as over square root of u, and then I will plug in the 1 and infinity to subtract. And you can just do this in the shorthand, I don't mind if you guys write down the limits or not, but then here is what's happening. First of all, I have to plug in infinity into u, and then the first part I will get negative 2 over square root of the inside will be infinity. And then we'll minus, right? Minus the second part, so this is the first part. The, set part, the second part will be I plug in 1 into this u, so f will have negative 2 on the top over square root of 1 for u. And then based on the expression right here, you see, this is a number, negative 2, over square root of infinity, which is infinity. So we know what's this. This is 0. And then this is just a number, like a finite number, negative 2 over 1. And then negative negative 2, we have plus 2. So altogether, the answer for this is just a 2. And that's it.